Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. So we have a situation with one of our chickens it got hurt. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of first aid and see if we can get it back up and running. So this is the poor hurt chicken. I noticed this morning when I went out to feed him that she was kind of just laying there on the floor inside the house, not really doing anything. Thought maybe her wing was hurt or something because she was being tender. But come to find out it's actually her leg. She's not wanting to put pressure on it, not wanting to stand on it. And she doesn't really have any use of it. So we're gonna take a look at it, see if we can maybe splint it up and help her to be able to heal properly. All right, baby, come here. I know, I know, okay. Just sit you right here. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I don't see any, uh, any outward injuries. Looks like it might just be up high in her leg. I can feel it moving inside there. So it's this uh, thigh bone. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I've never done this on it. Nope, 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 nope. Let's stay, let's stay on our back. Let's stay on our back so I can get to you. Yep, okay. Well, let's just try, let's just try to do something, okay? You good with that? Let's try to do something. Calm down, calm down. I don't want you hurting yourself anymore. It's okay. It's all right. Let's just get it in the right position. I've got a couple of sticks here. Let's see if we can utilize to splint it. I don't want to cause her more pain, but see what we can make happen. Might have my son come out here and uh, help. Hello? Hey, bud. Hey. Hi. Can you come out here and help hold this chicken while I splint her leg? Are you on the porch? Yeah. I'll try this, yes. All right. Thanks, bud. Okay. All right. So just, just calm her. Hold her two hands on either side of there. All right. Yeah, she's scared. Are you cold? Yeah. Do you need to go get a jacket? Oh, fine. Oh, this is too. I have no idea. I've never done this before. Oh. What? Let's see here. It's completely just sliding around. Now it's working. 
Now we're working. Poor thing. She squeaked a little bit. She doesn't know what's going on. All right. Do you want to cut that for me? It's right there. Yep. Perfect. How do you tie it off? I'm just going to tuck it in for right now. Does she have any feeling in this leg? I have no idea. Probably because she's been... Well, she can't move her toes on this leg. Yeah, I don't know that she's going to get much movement out of her leg after this, but maybe it'll just heal up and she'll be able to get around. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and cut the tops of these off so they're not hanging loose. Cool. All right, sweetie. You want to let her go now? Yep, you can let her go. Okay. All right. Yep. Hi, chickens. Hello, chickens. We'll go in here. Put you in a little quarantine area, okay? Hello, chickens. Go in quarantine. Here you go. There you go. And I'll bring you some water, okay? Yeah. You all right? All right. All right, friends. Well, hopefully she'll be okay, and we will uh, we'll be able to get her mended up. Usually takes about three weeks or so for a. Uh, broken leg to, to mend that was a pretty significant break it was just you could kind of feel the bones in there um, scraping against each other so hopefully it, that'll uh, that'll immobilize it enough to where it can at least heal up and not risk uh, tearing up the muscle and those um, those blood vessels in there because that that's one of the, the concerns with a break like that is uh, those little uh, sharp shards of bone will end up cutting uh, cutting and damaging tissue inside the leg. Uh, so hopefully she'll be okay here in a, in a few weeks and be able to reintroduce her to the flock if they'll take her a lot of times uh, an injured bird like that. They won't take her, but that's uh, that'll be okay. We'll, we'll work it out. It's one of the important things about keeping an eye on your flock and being a part, an active part of raising your, your animals on the homestead. It's just keeping an eye out for things like that. Um, this morning I had to, to leave uh, before the chickens were up and uh, when I got back that's kind of what I what I came back to so any number of things could have happened she could have gotten her leg caught up on something as she jumped off the roost or somebody could have stepped on her inadvertently not realizing door could have closed on her so uh, things happen and then we just kind of have to deal with it as it comes so but thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video informative or entertaining in any way please hit the thumbs up let us know that you liked it and if you've not subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing and see more of what we have going on here on the homestead we'll see you on the next video bye bye hello chickens penguin you're looking rough